All right, before we revisit Modern Warfare 3 in 2021, I wanted to talk about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer. Now, straight answer from you guys. Do you think, leave a comment, do you think Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer is going to happen eventually? Yes or no? And if you want to go more in depth, you know, just say why or why not. I've been thinking about this game a lot recently and um, with everything that we've learned so far, you know, it's the beginning of the year, so Call of Duty 2021 news is far, far away. Well, you know what? With how quickly time goes by recently, it's not that far away. But regardless, we all think, uh, as to believe speculation, that Sledgehammer is going to be in charge of this year. So Call of Duty 2021 seems to be Advanced Warfare 2 or whatever the hell it is that it's going to be. So things aren't looking that great for Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered. And if you guys could leave a thumbs up on this video, that would be fantastic. Uh, the more likes the better, and subscribe if you haven't. Sorry a little bit for being missing in action. First I was a little bit sick, and then there was a huge internet outage um, in my area, like all the way on the east coast. Um, internet just completely shut down, so I wanted to release this video yesterday, but I'm releasing it today. Um, so with Sledgehammer kind of taking the reins with Call of Duty 2021, so to we, you know, believe that that's what's going to happen, uh, we never know with Activision, maybe they're going to have a change of heart again, and be like, get the fuck out of the way, Sledgehammer. Infinity Ward, come here, take over. No, I doubt that would happen, um, as it did with uh, Black Ops Cold War. So I decided to ponder a little a little bit about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer and how it's fucking finished, but not released yet. Um, I think it would run on the same engine if you guys played. You guys remember in 2016 the first Modern Warfare Remastered? Yeah, it's turning 5 this year. I'm telling you, time is zooming by. All these Call of Duty start blending in. There's remasters and reboots and whatever. When you sit down and think about it, think about all those freaking Call of Duty titles. It's difficult to uh, to keep track. But anyway, I think it would use the same type of Ghost Engine and Ravensoft was in charge and it was confirmed, well kinda confirmed, we haven't heard it from Activision, but reliable leakers confirmed that it's done. The multiplayer was done, they just didn't want to release it as to not cannibalize with Modern Warfare. Which, looking back, I guess made sense. I don't know if Activision banked on how, you know, if they knew how successful Warzone would become. I think at that point, they only had Blackout uh, under their belt as far as Battle Royales go. So Warzone was kind of the next step up. I don't know if Activision actually realized we have a gold mine on our hands. I think they were still focused on the core experience, you know, 6v6 or whatever. Uh, so they didn't want to release Modern Warfare 2 as to not take away from, you know, the new title. But then Warzone came out, it became a huge success, and nobody gives a shit about 6v6 uh, Modern Warfare 2019. So that gets me to thinking, if nobody gives a shit about Modern Warfare 2019, you know, 6 versus 6 and everybody's on Warzone, why not give us Modern Warfare 2 right now? Not just the campaign, the multiplayer. And again, because Sledgehammer seems to be on top of things this year, I think it's highly... I, I doubt that we're going to get Modern Warfare 2. And, you know, as these years go on and on and on... Actually, now that I remember, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered has been finished since... Tw uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer and the campaign have been finished since 2018. If we were to believe the, you know, the leakers and everything. So for almost three years, they're sitting on it and like, eh, you know, nah, we're not going to release it. Remember, this game that you are watching right now has been barely patched. And yes, there are some, you know, people saying that it should be pure, keep all the same bullshit in so that it's the same experience. I'm kind of on a, on a fence about this. If you do a remastered, you have to balance things out uh, for the longevity of Modern Warfare 2. But then again, you could argue that there's, the servers are still so populated because Modern Warfare 2 has this crazy-ass, overpowered everything. So there's purists, there's people that are kind of in between, such as me, and then there's others who would just remove everything and make everything balanced, which in terms, I think, would make things a little bit more boring. What I would like to see patched 
is the hackers and maybe you saw that shit that was a stun kill that was pretty cool um what i would like to see patched is maybe one man army you know speaking of one man army uh, maybe one man army nuke tubes and i would live with commando being the way it is i think it was okay um because you could just shotgun people you know out of the sky yeah there's bullshit but hey that's the charm of modern warfare 2 so i don't know so that got me to thinking if it's not going to be this year then if they do release this next year it's going to be almost four years since um, modern warfare 2 multiplayer remaster was conceived and and finished and whatever and is that too long of a wait not that people wouldn't play it but the engine and everything it's kind of I don't know, and then they would have to reallocate resources, so it seems, excuse me, it seems to me like they had this window of opportunity to finish and fully drop this game in, you know, last year with the campaign, but they just didn't use it because they didn't want it to compete. Isn't that fucking crazy when a company is, um, when they release so much shit that they're scared that they're going to cannibalize itself? That That's, that's kind of nuts, and there's a lesson in there. There's a lesson in there. Maybe yearly Call, Call of Duty a la FIFA release is not the way to go. You know, because despite them spinning this, oh, you know, here's a three-year cycle, it's really a one-year cycle and just the title changes because now it's going to be all kind of uniform because we're all going to, you know, be playing on this new Infinity Ward engine. So are they going to try to adapt Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer with the new Infinity Ward engine, who knows? I mean, they would have to, I guess, redesign everything from the ground up, no? Unless Ravensoft is going to to run that project as they were supposed to back in 2018 and even 2020 when just the campaign dropped. So I don't know. I think Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, campaign, uh, Remastered Multiplayer is in a limbo. It makes me sad because this would be a Call of Duty which I would be playing. Oh man, I'm telling you. When there's a magical lobby, when you get on the PS3, and imagine even with crossplay, if they would release um, Modern Warfare 2 on the PS5 and PS4, whatever, with crossplay on, oh man, the servers would be populated, everybody would be happy. This is where you would go to get your authentic, you know, 6v6, back in the day, Call of Duty style shit. You know what I mean? Lobbies. And for people who don't like that, they could go to Warzone. Because I'm sure Warzone is just going to be even more and more and more successful than it already is. So I think everybody would be happy. I don't know. I feel like they, they, they need to, there needs to be a strategy change. They're not going to stop shipping Call of Duty as yearly without the 6v6 multiplayer. Because that would be, I mean, that would be just weird. It's, it's stripping the game to bare bones. I mean, campaign and Warzone updates, that's not going to fly for, you know, 70 bucks on next gen. But I think it would do it would be a great fan service to release Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered at some point before it's too late. Okay, I don't know what's stopping them. Warzone has passed, it's this giant behemoth, it's not going anywhere. The core multiplayer 6v6 is dying. There's there's nobody, almost nobody on my friends list playing Black Ops uh, Cold War. Maybe like one person here and there. But there was more people playing Modern Warfare. There's more people playing Modern Warfare 2019 Warzone than there is any sort of Call of Duty. I'm the fucking oddball out playing P on PS3 in 2021. Damn it! So I don't know. It would be good fan service. What do you guys think about this? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Next time we will be revisiting Modern Warfare 3 in 2021. This was Krahu. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. See you guys next time. Take care.